Gruesome today and unfortunately expected to get more gruesome and heartbreaking as this trial continues. Now today, the man who describes himself as Tucker Cipriano's best friend took the stand for most of the day and he described how the men plotted to rob a family for money and use that money to go to Mexico and buy the drug K2. For hours, 21-year-old Ian Zinderman testified about what happened the day of the brutal attacks inside the Cipriano house and the days leading up to that day in April 2012. While defendant 21-year-old Mitchell Young sat in court with no emotion on his face. According to Zinderman, he was approached by Young and Tucker Cipriano about targeting a family to rob in March. Uh, they wanted to throw him in the river. Um... Uh, the Detroit River and weigh him down by barrels or something like that. The day of the crimes, Zinderman said Young and Cipriano picked the Cipriano family. Picked assignments, discussed about picking assignments on which family member to kill. Um, Young was supposed to take the parents and uh, Cipriano was going to take his brothers. But there was allegedly debate over Tucker's eight-year-old sister. Zinderman said he helped Tucker break into the Cipriano home, stealing credit cards hours before the attack, but wanted out when talk of murder came up and went to a friend's home to sleep. Later in the morning, he said he saw Tucker Cipriano. According to Zinderman, Tucker and some other friends took a walk to get the drug K2. Oh, no, I gave him a new shirt. Uh, why did you do that? I didn't feel comfortable with the, him wearing a bloody shirt. But the defense questions his credibility since he says he was Tucker Cipriano's best friend. The defense argues his testimony has changed since the preliminary exam. Late this afternoon, two witnesses took the stand to identify Young. And one of those people taking the stand late this afternoon was a first responder who said that he saw Young inside the Cipriano home when he responded to the crime scene. He said that Young was handcuffed and was bleeding just a little bit and mentioned to him that he had Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism. Live at the courthouse, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Jeff. Okay, Tara, thank you very much.